today I'm going to show you how to change the cartridge in a Taiko 007. Uh, first thing you need to do is to disconnect power, shut the power off to the boiler, disconnect the power, relatively easy to do, two wires, remove it. Uh, second thing that you're going to need to do is you're going to need to empty the system or blow down the boiler uh, to get rid of the water in the system. Uh, and then after that, uh, take apart the, um, the, uh, the flanges and you can remove the pump. Uh, however, you can leave it in uh, and you can remove it. But for this uh, demonstration, what I've done is I removed the pump from the boiler just to give you a better idea. On the back of the pump, you'll see four screws. And those screws are going to be held on with a 532nd Allen wrench. And those will need to be removed. Uh, on the older pumps, there is, they used a 516th hex head screw. Uh, so if you have an older pump, uh, the Allen key may not work for you. You're going to need the 516th. Relatively easy to change. Um, if you remove those screws, you're going to turn the pump back around and you are going to remove the volute. Okay. When you remove the volute, you'll see inside the volute there is an O-ring. Uh, that O-ring should be changed uh, in the cartridge um, that you'll get. And the cartridge can be purchased from uh, HVACRsupplynow.com. It'll have the replacement cartridge. It'll give you a gasket, and it'll also give you four screws in it. All right. So you'll put the volute on the side, and then you'll remove you'll remove the cartridge. Uh, just note that the cartridge goes on top of this flange, not vice versa. All right. Yeah, because you'll have a leak. So cartridge comes out flange comes off. Okay. Again, in the kit, you'll get a new cartridge assembly. And to assemble it, again, really easy. Make sure that you put the flange on. The flange has to go on first. All right. Slide the cartridge in. And again, in the kit, at HVACRsupplynow.com, there'll be a an O-ring that's inside. Uh, replace that O-ring. Then what you'll do is you'll set the volute back on the cartridge. All right. Turn it around and put your screws back in. Just have to line them up. And we'll line those screws back up for you. That's why it's recommended that you do it on the outside of the system. But again, you can, you know, leave the, the pump inside the system and you can change the cartridge out. But again, you got to make sure that you, um, you blow the system down or empty the boiler so you don't have water spilling all over the place. All right, we're going to put these four screws back on. And again, you don't need to over torque them. You just have to make them tight. And there you go. So you change your cartridge in a 007. Put the pump back into service. Um, put either, again, if you didn't remove it, uh, fill the system back up with water. If you did remove it, put the pump back in. Change the flange gaskets, put the pump back in the system, uh, fill the boiler up with water um, so it lubricates the, uh, the impeller and the pump, uh, and hook your electric back up, bleed the system of air, and you're ready to go. And there you go. That's how easy it is to change a cartridge on a Taiko 007. Thank you.